what you guys got a gaming case here for review this one is from game max this is called the spectrum now this is a, a tempered glass case now you see me do a build in this but i wanted to quickly do a review i've put the specs up on the screen so you can see them but this is the front of the case here full tempered glass all round looks really really nice got three fans in the front here it takes a 120 mil fan in the back which could be another RGB halo type uh, fan if you wanted to now there's also space for 240 mil fans or 320 mil fans up the top and it does support a 360 millimeter radiator up there as well which is pretty nice so you see here plenty of room for cable management and also you've got those 320 mil fans on the front which are RGB fans which give lovely cool air coming into the case now at the back here we do have uh, seven expansion slots on here so plenty of room for expansion there and also good airflow you've got that extractor fan which you can put on the back nice big opening here on the back of the motherboard area and also you've got those rubber grommets for your cable management and loads of little holes to route your cables and cable ties through so you can keep those cables nice and tidy there's also room for two uh, ssds on the front here which is going to be where your motherboard is you can put on two ssds there if you wish also there's room for 165 millimeter cpu cooler which is the height of it which will go up to and also up to 400 millimeters of gpu which means you can have quite a big a gpu in here there's no three and a half inch hard drive cage inside uh, the case here and there's also no psu uh, enclosure to hide your psu that's all open here uh, but it gives good airflow through here you got dust filters on here for your PSU if you want to face your fan down. Also uh, anti-slip rubber feet and some nice uh, feet raises to uh, give some good airflow through here and also that uh, intake at the front which will draw air in with those 320mm fans there. So pretty nice as you can see there. Now also what we want to look for is on the side here you can see there's some little mesh in here which is going to also help with airflow and also keep the case nice and cool inside and this goes all the way around the outer edge of the case and that's also covered with tempered glass on the top and the front and the sides which looks quite nice as you can see here and let's take a look at the back area where all your cables are going to be uh, hidden round here just to see what it looks like now there's plenty of room to uh, route your cable so make it nice and tidy you've got some cable ties already on here you've got all your other cables here you've got your fan hub here which is for plenty of fans if you want to add more fans in you've got those three and a half inch drive caddies here at the back there's two of those and also you do have another two and a half inch uh, drive bay there to put in your ssd round the back which will keep it nice and tidy inside the case. Now you can have up to 10 fans here. Now this is a proprietary hub, which you have to use their fans with this hub, otherwise they won't work. Uh, but you've got up to 10 fans if you want to use them inside that little hub there, which is really nice. Also plenty of little holes where you can poke your cables through, like the CPU cable to go into the motherboard, keeps it nice and tidy. And of course you've got all those cable uh, managements there where you can keep it all nice so you don't have any issues with cables showing up remember there's a tempered glass on this side which will show your cables to so keep them tidy now you can have three 120 uh, mil ring halo fans on the front here which will give a nice halo uh, rgb effect we got your remote control and on your top panel you've got your fan speed rgb also p and h which is your power and hard drive, your microphone and headphones, uh, two uh, USB 2.0s and two USB 3.0s here, and your power button is on there as well. So let's chuck some parts in here and take a look what it looks like when you've got all your parts in. So this is what it's going to look like when you put all your parts in. If you've bought a, a load of new parts and you want a nice case to go with them, then the uh, Spectrum from Game Max is pretty decent. I would recommend it to anyone it's a really affordable sort of case and you get that nice tempered glass which gives it that, that nice posh look there and you can see it stands off the ground quite a lot which gives it good airflow on the bottom as well which i do like now this is what it's going to look like when you've got all the lights on it and turned it on and i've turned dim the lights down so you can see those rgb uh, halo lights are really cool i've got the red thing going on here and it looks pretty 
uh, awesome and it's a really nice case so if you want to uh, get yourself one of these i'll leave the link in the video description for you anyway i'm going to wrap this one up i hope this one's been helpful to you my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks for game max for sending this one out for review thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos